one magnitude earthquake. More people were pulled out of collapsed buildings overnight. Searchers are digging through the ruins of an elementary school in the capital where one girl is reported to be alive but still trapped. 25 people died there. The overall death toll from Tuesday's quake is now at least 245. Manuel Bajorquez is in Mexico City. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. This afternoon will mark 48 hours since the earthquake struck. So not only is time working against rescue efforts, there are also also hazards. We've been monitoring the situation at this collapsed office building where crews told us this morning they're trying to shore up the remaining bottom floor because they fear it could give way. Dramatic rescues like this one happened all across central Mexico Wednesday. First responders pulled several victims alive from the rubble. They've become symbols of hope for those still searching for their missing loved ones. Aquí en busca, who are you looking for? Mi esposo. Your husband. Marta Laura prayed with a rosary for her husband of 15 years. He's an engineer and just this Monday began working at a building that collapsed. Es lo último que hay que perder. It's the last thing you give up is that faith that you'll be alive. For, mis hijos, for, for your children. At a destroyed elementary school, rescuers work through the night, trying to free a little girl still trapped beneath the debris. They believe there may be more children inside, but time may be running out to save them. <laughs> Hundreds of volunteers join the rescue efforts. Every so often, they raise their fists, asking for silence. So first responders could listen for sounds coming from the wreckage. Volunteer Alex Osorio is a banker who helped save four people from this office building. You see the families. That's they are very worried about the that's, You're trying your best, but that has got to just hit yes, you. It's very emotional, but also that gives us energy to work hard and to do this effort for our people. So far, more than 50 people have been rescued from collapsed buildings here in Mexico City, but there's another factor complicating matters. It rained last night, and there is more rain in the forecast for today. Charlie? Manuel Bajorcas in Mexico City. Thanks, Manuel.